I have a tough question. Now, a tough question is, you know, these are questions that we come up with through the course of our lives, and they're exactly what they sound like, questions that are hard for some to answer. And the question I'd like to pose and offer up today, Jared Hill, is, is there ever a right time to say goodbye? Sorry. Um, Is there ever a right time to call the police story time to give you some context okay so i was recently out and about dipping it and doing it living my black queer best life with some friends some friends of the show actually and we were going to a restaurant in the middle of west hollywood and as we pulled up to the restaurant in west hollywood we see this young lady okay hanging out of a car window okay And by hanging out, I mean her feet are inside the car and her her butt is on the windowsill and the rest of her body is outside of the window. And at first it looks like she's just like, you know, sitting on her windowsill. We all done sat on our windowsill before, right? Maybe not. Um, It looks like she's just sitting on her windowsill. And then we start to realize, oh, there's a tussle of some sort happening. Okay, there's and we realize that there's somebody in the driver's seat of the car. Okay, right. And her feet are is inside the driver's seat window. Okay, she starts yelling about the person in apparently in the driver's seat stealing her car. Okay, but it's not a my life is in danger type of yell. You know, it's a I want to bring some attention to this situation type of yell. Like I want people to look, but like I'm not dying type of you know situation go ahead can you give me like a distinction like what does that sound like Help! now that is major distress that's 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 get me help soon like right now okay right okay. and then the i need to bring attention to this situation is like oh my god help he's trying to steal my car oh okay okay i get it now. you see the difference yes thank you for the demonstration okay great Okay, and so we get out the car and we we watching this, you know, go down. And you know, important note: this is uh, these are not black folks. None of the people involved are black. None of the black people are involved are African Americans or African descendants. Okay, <laughs> okay. Um, from what we can tell, from what we can right. tell, because right. what? Right. Uh huh. I let y'all fill, <laughs> fill in the blank. Um. Okay. <laughs> So we call out, you know, we like everything. All right, sugar, you know, just to let her know we see you. We 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 know that you are, you know, you want some attention here. Okay. Now at this time, we did not really know that there was somebody in the driver's seat, and then the car started slowly pulling away. Um, oh. not in a life endangering type of way. This isn't fast, too furious, you know. Just like a, you know, somebody eased their foot off of the brake. Okay. And so now that's when we're like, okay, something going on. Like this, this ain't this ain't cute. This ain't cute. Okay. Now by this time, other patrons in the restaurant, you know, are peering into the street. Okay, and they watch it. And then the restaurant staff, they peering into the street and they watch it. Right. And so thankfully, other people can, you know, shoulder the responsibility because it becomes clear and everybody kind of collectively decides generally that like, oh, somebody should call somebody. Mm, okay. like somebody should call an authority of some sort. But us as the black folks, you know, we were like, well, mm, <laughs> And like, you know, but there were other people there, right, who who could call. And so long story short. Oh, this the, is the short version. Shut oh. up. Shut up. <laughs> the wait staff ends up calling um, the police, okay? And the police end up showing up and, you know, it is what it is, right? But it got me thinking how in this day and age, a whole lot of black folks ain't trying to deal with the police at all, right? We've seen so many examples of, you know, us calling the police and becoming the victim, right? The suspect and then the victim, yeah. Right. 
and then us just like, you know, living and walking down the street or in our living rooms or, you know, where at, at our churches or whatever, and then end up having, you know, negative interactions with the police. And so none of us were trying to call the police, but, and we had plenty of reason to not want to call the police. But, like, the police is supposed to, is who you're supposed to be calling in society, right? Especially in situations like what I have just detailed, right? And so I wanted to bring it here. Is there ever a right time to call the police for you? It's interesting to me because I actually had a very similar situation happen that was not nearly as long or in-depth. But, like, I, <laughs> I was in bed. And I could hear, like, running down the hallway of my building. Oh, my God. And, like, someone, I could hear, like, boom, 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 boom. But, like, at first, I thought it was, like, just, like, a loud sound happening outside. Mm -hmm. And then I heard it again, and I realized, like, I think that's steps. And then I heard, like, footsteps running outside. Like, I heard a door open, and, like, Mm -hmm. and I heard scream and, like, scream. And it was, like, wait a minute. Something's happening, right? So then I like, I'm like, okay, but wait, what kind of scream? I'm so glad you asked. Mm -hmm. I got you, friend. So it was not like, oh my God, oh my God, (laughs) somebody's bothering me. (laughs) Get the authorities. Right? It was like real screaming and I could hear running and like, and so I like, I thought like, what am I supposed to do? (laughs) So I like, I jumped up and I was like, oh, if I go that side, I'm not going to see. I go to this side. And I'm like, I look out the window and I can see a black BMW with like a person on the hood of it driving down toward (laughs) our exit. And I'm like, wait, what is happening? You know what I mean? But then like, I hear her like, kind of like laugh scream and then like I see them stop but then I can't see the car anymore and I think to myself like is she in trouble is she not like Mm. then I see her like standing out further than I can really see very well and so I was just like let me take note of what happened for myself this happened then this happened I heard this I heard that so you didn't call the police but I didn't call the police because the car was then gone I was like I wouldn't even know what to tell them if they did come here and I don't want to have to interact with no fucking police officer about this bullshit. Like, there was no reasonable outcome that was going to come from that for me calling the police. And I think in the same situation, like, the more people called the police, great. But, like, if she was, like, playing in that situation, I don't know what to do. Mm. So you're not calling the police at all at no time? Not never? I, I won't say not never, but not in these two scenarios. Okay. I mean, well, definitely not in these two scenarios. I, but I'm also, like... I don't listen. This is this is hard. Well, like I I keep thinking about how <laughs> if something were to happen, right, and go left, and the police did something crazy, I can hear black folks everywhere. Like that's what your stupid ass gets for calling the police. <laughs> <laughs> now you knew good and damn well not to call these mother. You know what I mean? Like oh you can God. hear that conversation already. But on the flip side, on the flip side. You don't call the police, and the next thing you find out, you got another OJ situation on your hand, and you didn't call the police. 1,000%. 1,000%. But also, like, I don't want to be on the stand (laughs) in an OJ trial? Absolutely not. 